Hi, welcome. This is a second trial. Well, actually a fourth already, but <laughs> who's counting? Um, so yeah, I bought myself a, a gizmo, a, a tripod. Uh, so thank you for your donations and I'll keep supporting you and keep providing you with knowledge. So welcome to the Arco Linux University. This thing is to record actually stuff that um, is, is otherwise jittery. So keeping a, a phone in your hand and then also um, pressing buttons and all that is a little bit difficult. So this is a, a thing you can put on, on in a tripod. That's one thing, but also you can actually make action videos about it and it's going to uh, tilt and everything. That's a motor in there, a Bluetooth connection. So actually should be good if I'm gonna make a video on uh, Clonezilla. So when you want to clone one hard disk to the other, one SSD to the other, and not lose any data, but maybe go from a 500 gigabyte to one terabyte SSD. So those things will come up if you have sons who are, are of a certain age and then they don't want to lose their games, but they do want to have a bigger hard disk. So solutions are there. And this is a great tool to film all that without all the jittery things. But first, let's explain um, this thing. This is me sitting in the kitchen. Next, uh, the last trial was at late at night in uh, my own desk in my computer room. But here we are in uh, the kitchen with a lot of light. It's, it's almost midday, so I do hope it's better. We don't have internet since, uh, right, we're in the kitchen. And we're booting up with a USB. So it's, oh, I always go check this so we see later for reference what version it is. Yeah, I'm not plugged in. This is new. Um, in the mid-December, we'll add this to our ISO, which means if you don't need the NVIDIA driver, don't do anything like, like I. I press just next, 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 done. But if you say I do have, um, or do require, or do want, want to test the NVIDIA driver, not the 390, the NVIDIA driver, then you just click here. But otherwise, you just go for next. Same applies for the kernel, the LTS kernel. We don't need it. Uh, well, I personally don't need it. But uh, some of the people, um, it seems, do. So if you, you know one of those, you just say yes and install it. It will only install if you have internet. So at this point in time, there is no internet. There is no Wi-Fi. I could maybe uh, activate it. Yes, I can. So I could activate here the Netgear. 36 that's mine and then everything would come in so you need to have internet otherwise he thinks you're living in new york that this means actually you don't have internet since i'm living in belgium right so we select our where we live we select also where the keyboard is and we go for next and we go for erase disk and that's it you know my advice just one operating system on a disk please it will save you so much time and frustration and questions for us later. So, put everything in, you know the drill, and then you go for next. And Calamares, which is our installer here, is going to create the partitions. This is a particular nasty moment in time. It needs to create partitions and sometimes it gets broken at that part of the system. Now, if it gets broken, remember guys, Calamaris, it's a work in progress. One, two, it is free. They're quite supportive for our distro. We've had a lot of communications already with Adrian and Adrian in, in Dutch. Uh, so um, yeah, it's it's great to be feeling actually part of Calamaris. So we're supporting them. We're supporting, uh, they're supporting us. So it's great. We learn and things improve. If... If it happens that the Calamaris encounters something that it can't uh, overcome, it crashes. That's the word that it crashes. What do you do then? You open up a window here or a terminal straight away. And then this is Arcling D. So it doesn't know that I have termite. So I need to tell him, hey guy, boot up termite. The other ISOs know that. <clears throat> So, if, assuming Calamaris has crashed, 
you do the following. You know this application. You should know this application. It is a very important application. G parted. So this one is going to provide information on your system. What partitions do you have? Uh, how big are they? Etc. Etc. So all the device information. But most importantly, if it crashes, then you select your partition and you go to this little icon, delete the selected partition. Nothing at that point is yet deleted. You go to that, then afterwards apply the operations. And then you see something all gray. And that means everything is gone, which means actually a clean slate, like a whiteboard. Everything is washed off. It's, it's gone. Then, then, Calamaris will run as usual, business as usual. But how do we get to Calamaris? Well, PK, exec, and then Calamaris is what we need to type. But I am on, on Azerti Querti, right? So I need to think where the words are, and that's it. Forget the sudo, it will, work, it will work the sudo, but try to remember to pk execute, exec or execute, execute, to execute. Terrible word. So that's it, he's almost done. In the meantime, I've learned some things. And last thing, go to articlelinux.com find the menu Calamaris, and in there is an article of 34 different scenarios you can do with Calamaris. With a home directory, without a home directory, with a swap, without a swap, with encrypted, without encrypted, wind with Windows, without Windows. I mean, you check it out. It's plenty of information there. So if you get stuck, if you hear other people get stuck, point them to the Arch Linux website and then to Calamaris menu. Now I was booting up again, but my USB was still in there. So USB in my hand, booting it up again, which will lead us to Arch Linux D, which is the intention, maybe also a good thing to put it already again in the video. Arch Linux is our ISO, it's the developer's ISO. It's, the, it's, it's from us, it's, we develop on it, we work on it. It's XFC OpenMox i3. It has all the tools we require. Three browsers, GIMP, Inkscape, things we use all the time. So that's our thing. Your thing is this guy, Arch Linux D. It's a minimal guy, it's, it's all, all black and all that. And the other guys, Arch Linux B. There you build it yourself, don't care about building, then you do an Arch Linux B full, which is again the things we need to develop, GIMP, Inkscape, and so on. The article next minimal is maybe something for your liking. They say, okay, I start with one browser, I think one editor, stuff like that, but left a lot out. And then you start installing. So that's our vision. That's how we work. That's what we um, use. So this video, finally, we can record it without any jitter. So I hope everything is okay. Now we do a NM2E. That's the application I like. How easy is it to get to a wireless? This is my wireless. There's also a keyboard shortcut that I need to activate, which is FN F7. We've seen that in the test video, which I'm going to delete, by the way. After this thing, <coughs> I'm going to type in, that's wrong, the password. I don't think my numlock was on. Oh, I've thought something about my password. Very bad indeed. So again, and go. So you connect to your system, and the only thing you have to do is now escape, 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 and then try to update your system. And there we are. We're up to date, and it seems we need to get in quite a lot of stuff. X org server being the most important one here. Network manager is important as well, and some sorry icons, etc. Okay, so um, that's it for me. I see I'm almost to my limit of 10 minutes. This is how you get Arch Linux D and then go to the wireless and activate it. All right, cheers.